Sam from Sheridan Computers, and I'm going to be continuing our look at Asterisk. Asterisk is a open source platform for building PBX solutions. There's a lot of things built on it, such as FreePBX. Um, I'm doing this on FreeBSD, but it does work on Linux, so you can use it on CentOS, you can use it on Ubuntu, we've done it on both. Um, the actual Asterisk configuration is the same, the files are in different locations, depending on um, what distribution you're using. So as I said, I've done this on FreeBSD. If you want to follow along, you can have a look at my FreeBSD videos and you can see how to install it that way. Uh, previously, we looked at getting an extension up and running and we looked at some simple dial plan rules. Once we had our extensions up and running, we then went ahead and the video following that, we looked at setting up voicemail and setting up dial plan rules to access voicemail and setting up voicemail to email as well. So this time around, I'm going to be looking at localization. So there's a few things we need to do with an asterisk. Um, we need to set indications up. Now indications are timings for um, the telephone system based where you are. And also the voice, the default voice that comes with asterisk is Alison. While Alison is all well and good, she's American, and I'd like to have a UK voice. So I'm gonna show you how to set UK voices and how to set the indications up so that the timings and everything are correct for the UK. If you like this video, please go and take the time to hit the like button. And if you subscribe to the channel, um, if you hit the notifications icon, you'll get the notifications of any new videos as they are released. If you would like to hire us for any projects, such as PBX projects, um, please head across to our website, sheridan.co.uk. Click on the Hire Us link, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for, and we'll get back to you with whether we can help. While you're on our website, you can also find out some information on my company, who we are, what we do, and some of the people that we deal with. So now let's head over to Asterisk and take a look at what we need to do to uh, configure the indications on localization. So we're logged into um, our Asterisk box. This is where we left it last time. Um, the sounds for Asterisk are in user logo, etc. Sorry, the user local share asterisk sounds. And we have an English directory, and then all the sounds are in here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to set up the indications and the timings. So if we're going to use that local etc and then asterisk, we have a couple of configuration files. I did this as minimum as I possibly can. So one file we're going to want to copy out of the old configurations directory is indications.conf. So let me go ahead and copy that out. Right, so I meant to copy that, not vi it. So with that, we can now go ahead and look at editing what we need to do. I've spelled that wrong. So country, obviously this is pretty much all we need to do. We need to set that to the correct country. Um, and there's a list of settings, examples, these are well commented files on what you need to do. Um, but you know, setting the country, it shows you the uh, context for each one. So we've got Australia, and then you can see the ring types. So this is why it's important to set this. So you have no issues. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna do in there. So now I want to change the core sounds and I want to get the uh, UK core sounds. So we're gonna go ahead and download them. So we head across to our trusty Google and asterisk core sounds. The core sounds are available from downloads to asterisk.org. So if we go there, um, there's various, there's a lot of core sounds, obviously they're here for all the different countries and they're also in different formats. In addition to the core sounds, there's, all, there's uh, extra sounds as well, which I'll go through them in a minute. Um, so the ones we're gonna replace them with are asterisk core sounds ENGB. So let's copy that link. Um, so the sound, where are we? So the sounds in you, the local, etc. Asterisk. Sorry, no, they're not. CD user local share asterisk sounds. 
and we're going to want to download the link if you don't have wget installed on your system just package install wget So we have it installed. So we have the EN directory, which is the American sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and move that into EN. It's called. I'm going to create a new directory called EN. And we'll download our files into here. So wget. So we've downloaded the archive of the files, let's extract them, tar zxvf, asterisk, that's done, let's remove the tar file, don't need it no more, and that's pretty much all we needed to do. Um, let me just pull up the soft form real quick. I'm going to do a service restart asterisk. It's always the wrong way around. Do it as service asterisk restart. That will load the uh, indications configuration that we put in earlier. So now let's uh, pull across our soft phone and if we dial voicemail which we set up in our dial plan on the previous video as star 97 we should get English sounding folk you have no messages press 2 to change folders press 3 for advanced options and the demo extension that we set up to check that everything was working was it 500? I can't remember Congratulations! You have successfully installed and executed the asterisk open source PDX. You have also installed a set of samples. So that's it for as far as localization goes. Now, as I did mention previously, there are um, some extra sounds that you can download as well. We'll go ahead and do them real quick. So I'm going to make another directory for these called extra. Let's go ahead and download them. Um, so, asterisk, extra sounds, uh, ENGB, GSM. Don't want them ones. Let's copy the link to them. And then do as wget. I think I went to the right director, didn't I? Yes, I did. So, let's extract them. And then we can delete the archive that we downloaded. So there's a lot of um, files in there as well. So it's worth extracting them and you can have a play and see what you can do with the system. There's a hell of a lot of files in there. So that's it for setting up localization on Asterisk. I hope this video helps and we'll see you in the next one.